Young, awkward Chips arrives at Brookfield, a prestigious boys' school. He stumbles, struggles, and longs for escape. But the boys, rough and teasing, slowly chip away at his reserve. He finds joy in shared laughter, stolen moments of connection. Years fly by, marked by cricket matches, pranks, and quiet tutoring sessions. Love blossoms with Catherine, a spirited teacher, but societal norms force her away. Heartbroken, Chips transforms. He becomes the beloved Mr. Chips, a mentor, confidant, and friend. He pushes boundaries, encouraging kindness and understanding. He witnesses the boys grow, shaping their lives with warmth and humor. Love returns, this time with Miss Honey, a young teacher who sees the man beneath the tweed. Decades pass, etched in lines on Chips' face and the memories of generations of students. War casts a shadow, but Chips finds solace in his purpose. He retires, celebrated and adored, yet feels lost without his classroom. A final surprise awaits a visit from Catherine, her eyes still holding the spark of their shared past. As he bids farewell to Brookfield, tears mingle with laughter. Mr. Chips, the awkward boy who found his home, leaves behind a legacy of love, laughter, and the profound impact of a teacher who saw the potential in every boy. He may have retired, but the lessons, like the chips from his pockets, will forever be etched in the hearts of his students. The theme of goodbye, Mr. Chips is to have loved and lost is better than to have never loved at all, despite Chipping's mediocre credentials and his view that classic Greek and Latin his academic subjects are dead languages. He is an effective teacher who becomes highly regarded by pupils and the school's governorsh has become a well-worn institution.